You spent, I suppose, your, your formative years in, in England. You mm. played through academy systems and you went to America. Tell us about your journey here so far. Um, so, I did start a little bit late when I was in England. So, a lot of the kids around were playing from like 7, 8. And that wasn't me. I only started playing football when I was about 11, which was pretty late back in England. Um, so, when I did start, I was pretty good. I found out that. I was a quick learner and I adjusted to the game very well. So then at 12, I then signed for Luton Town. And that was a big step up from just playing with my mates at school um, and things like that. So I was at Luton and I was there for a couple of years. Um, didn't get offered what I needed to. So then I went and played for a, a year with a, a semi-pro team called Wingate and Finchley before going to America. So. Uh, why, why did you go to America? Was it just the college and university and things like that? Or? You know what? When... I was about 18, 19. I kind of didn't know what avenue, whether I wanted to pursue just football or education. Um, and America just offered me a route to get an education, get a degree, and also play at a very high level. Mm -hmm. um, and in the end, it paid off since I was able to sign a professional deal out there. Um, and it was great. Um, this opportunity came about to come over here. And of course, I was going to take it. It's a, for me, it's a step up personally. Um, and I'm just excited to, to be here. How did the, the, the move here come about? Um, who, who made the first contact to get to Finn Harps? Um, I got a call from Ollie actually. Um, and when he spoke to me at, at the start, I didn't know what he was saying. His accent was a little bit uh, <laughs> it was tough. Um, but the vision in what he had, and he had a lot of belief in me. He said he's watched me play, he's done a lot of research. So for me, it was just a no brainer. So I want to come and see what it was about. Of pre season, how you settled in, how you found the squad members? Um, pre-season was, pre was good, I mean honestly, um, it's no different than anywhere else I've done it. The boys have been good, um, the games that we've played, we've got better in every single one. So for me it's just been getting ready. Um, I came in a little bit late, I had a few issues but I'm feeling good now and I'm just excited to go. How are you settling in with the squad, how are you find the lads? Yeah, very good. Everyone just took me in with open arms. Um, again, I do find... Sometimes some of the things they say, I don't know what is going on, but um, I'll adjust and yeah, I'm enjoying it. There's a few jokers in the squad then as well? Yeah, a lot of jokers and I seem to be the guy getting all the jokes at the moment, <laughs> but I'm just very happy, honestly. I didn't know what it's like, especially when you go into a new environment. Um, some players can be a bit hostile and things, but never got that here. Everyone just wanted me to do well and wanted me to succeed, so it's been good. Well, what's your objective personally for the season? Personally, it's just to score as much as I can and just help the team push up the league. Um, just the goals and the ambition of the team this season is to push up and I'm hoping I can be that player. What do you think the difference is between the US soccer, if you will, mm -hmm. the, to you know, the Irish football? Um, I'd just say Irish football is just more direct, which for my strengths, I think it suits me a bit better. Uh, America is a lot more just slower paced and um, they do try and pass a little bit more, where it's here, it's, if we can get it to the, the striker as quickly as possible, um, that's the way the teams play here. And for me, I love that. I just want to get on the ball and score. So, it Speaking works on well. that, uh, what do you think do you, do you bring to the team? What, what do you think are your best attributes, if you want? Um, i just say my directness. Um, I'm good at getting on the ball, I've got a good first touch, and once I get it, there's only one thought in my head, and it's just to go forward, and if I can have as many shots in a game, that's me, that, that's what makes me happy. And then once it hits the back of the net, you know, that feeling just is special. So I just want to get as many goals as I can. And I think this is the team to do it at. What are your first spots on the club? Sydney and St. Park is I just asked. Um, well, what do you think even about the country? Uh, you've never been to Ireland. No, I've never been to Ireland, no. Um, it's colder. It's colder. It is, it is a bit colder, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different than what I'm used to now. Yeah. Um, but I do really like it here. Everyone is so nice, especially in this town anyway. Um, no one's had a bad word to say. Um, everyone always seems to try and help me here, so yeah. I have no complaints. Your parents are back in England? Yes. Yeah. What do they think of, the, of their move? You're closer, <laughs> at least um, My mum's very happy, I can yeah. tell you that. Um, America was a bit too far for her, um, and my dad as well. For them, it's, it's quick to get here now. They can come watch me and see me whenever they want. So.
exactly the next question. Are we going to see the, the Soul family in anytime soon? <laughs> For sure, yeah. The family will be here as, as much as they physically can. Um, yeah, you'll be seeing them around and they'll be pretty noisy. I can promise you that.